not least because the match didn't begin very well for the Blues. They came into the game on a fine winning streak, top of the table, but found themselves behind early on to that shot from Villa's Harry McCurdy. And things got worse too, as 1-0 became 2-0. Russian Hepburn Murphy with Villa's second here. Cue the backlash, though. It began with Jeremy Boga, often deadly, including here, 2-1. And then came Tammy Abraham, the club's top scorer at all levels this season, with 10 goals before this one, 2-2. Next, it was Boga again, scoring his second and his side's third to complete the turnaround and put Chelsea in front. And then the Blues went into overdrive. Mira Muheim's header made it 4-2 before a brace in first-half stoppage time from Dom Solanke, the first firmly planted into the roof of the net and the second nicely taken on the slide. And all of a sudden, the half-time scoreline was 6-2 to Chelsea. After the break, it was a race to see who'd get their hat-trick first. Young Swiss forward Muheim was the winner. He smashed in his second and Chelsea's seventh there before making it eight shortly afterwards. Treble for him. Congratulations all round. Carl Scott was playing in a slightly deeper role than usual on the day, but he still managed to get in on the scoring act, albeit with a bit of deflected help. That was 9-2, and then Jeremy Boga completed his hat-trick with a lovely free kick as Chelsea hit double figures. Having set up half of the goals, Tammy Abraham then bagged number 11, which was also his 12th of the season, by the way, and the incredible route was completed by substitute E.K. Agbo late on. The final score, 12-2 to Chelsea. When we went 2-0 down, we 